It's great to see the blank girls out there saving the world. Let's take a look back at some of the other grand activities. Charlie's Angels, world. saving the world. You got it. What we're doing here? What are we doing with these Christmas trees? Yeah. To stop coastal metal. erosion. Yeah. yeah. This is Brittany Smith. <laughs> and Brittany Houston. Houston. And, and you are Charlie's Angels saving the marsh. <laughs> Smith also saving the marsh. Don't yes. climb up on that levee, y'all. Get down. Summer Suleiman pumping some iron or a tree, as it were. I don't know. I think this is the director. That's all. It's not an obstacle. If a river's not going to flow up, and that means that we get a little If a house is low on the what would happen next? I did. What happens when you made waves on the beach? Okay. Let's see if you can get anything. If you guys All want right. to try to get some slime, then we're going to add alum. 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 All right, so we're going to add alum, and then we're going to do another filtering. And then we get to pour the treated water through this cool filter. And the charcoal and the sand are going to take up any leftover particles. We have chlorine, we got drinking water. Well, not drinking water, but water that can be put into the Mississippi with that chlorine. Oh, awesome. So, we're here to collect water for the water grant so we can test it. We're probably going to do a pH test and a test for lead and mercury phosphate. I want you to notice those plants down there. You see those leafy thingies in the, in the water? Those are water hyacinths and those are... Okay, wait. Okay, Which one? Okay, for phosphate, if it's positive, it develops a cloudy consistency, and mercury didn't really change. I mean, yeah, mercury didn't change, and lead did not turn, you know. So we're positive for phosphate, negative for mercury, and lead. Right. Excellent. The ditch on Stump, along with Lake Pond Train, Mississippi River, Marble Canal, and even our tap water at Blank, tested positive for phosphate. <laughs> phosphate comes from fertilizer and laundry detergent. When it gets in our water, it causes eutrophication. <laughs> that means it looks like a have an algae bloom. <laughs> Sorry. In the dead zone, such as Mexico, which makes it hard for animals and in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Gulf of Mexico, Not which Mexico. makes it hard for animals and aquatic animals to breathe, such as with their gills and fishes and stuff like that. And they all die. They all die. Yeah. That's why it's called a dead zone, because they're all dead. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Ah, oh, what a year. I feel like going out and renewing the face of the earth now. Don't you, Emily? Well, as a blank dog, I live by the motto, Renovavi Spachum Tarret. Good job, Emily. Which means, renew the face of the earth. You know, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land. When she returned with an olive branch, he knew that all was well and that the earth would be restored. What? With all this coastal erosion, I think we might have to build an ark soon. Fear not, Victoria. The dove will save the day. And it wouldn't hurt if all of our viewers would vote for legislators and urge them to protect our water, to protect our coast, our wetlands. 
That would be really cool. Well, that's all for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed this special edition of The Dove News. Thank you and good night. Same as it ever was.